What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode five of When Real Estate Gets Real. I'm Jake, and today I wanted to do something slightly different. So we've talked about the great houses, the great neighborhoods, and the great schools that Frederickburg has to offer. But the other two aspects that make any city great are the people and the businesses. And what better place for me to start than with a Marine who owns a business in downtown Fredericksburg. And so today we're gonna meet Sean, the owner of Spencer Devon Brewery, and he's gonna give us a tour of the place. Let's go check it out. So, so tell, me, tell me a little bit about the business. All right, uh, so Spencer Devon Brewing, uh, we're a brewing company that saw a need for a craft brewery in downtown. Every right. good city needs a, its own craft brewery. So, Absolutely. So we thought we'll, we'll, we'll be that, that person. We'll build something that the Fredericksburg area can be proud of mm -hmm. uh, and can call their own. What is the uh, behind the name? Ah, that's, that's, a, that's a classic question. <laughs> um, we're struggling trying to figure out a name, trying to figure out a name, trying to come up with something catchy and something that people dig. And one day I was just driving along and we stopped at an intersection at a stop, stop sign. And I said, Spencer Devon, it was this name that I had come up with whenever I was in middle school mm -hmm. to name my firstborn child my firstborn son, uh -huh. um, but Lisa and I had, had had children and we had two daughters, so <laughs> I couldn't use my name, my perfect name for this kick-ass son. Uh, so we named the brewery Spencer Devon. So, so why, why Fredericksburg? This was a cool area. It wasn't, it wasn't so small like my hometown in Cullowee, mm -hmm. North Carolina, and the, the brass tax of it is we love this area. Right. Coming downtown and, and walking the streets and so forth, it, it's, it offers a lot. What, do, what would you say your flagship beer is, your most popular beer? Um, Belgian Blonde is what sells the most. Okay. It's not too, not too Belgian-y, not too fruity and so forth, but it's, it's, it's enough to get the style and the character of the beer and still not scare people off. Okay. Um, and it's, it's just a solid beer. It actually won uh, Great American Beer Fest bronze medal. Uh, our second year in existence. Wow. So we're the first brewery in downtown to have a, a GABF medal. Um, so it's, it's a solid Absolutely. beer for sure. How has coronavirus impacted your business? Dramatically, mm -hmm. quite honestly. We, we actually just uh, came out of a shutdown for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, an employee who hadn't been in a business, in the space for over a week, test positive and over an, an overabundance of caution. We went ahead and shut down for a couple of days. Right. Uh, sanitize everything and and we just opened back up yesterday but now that we're getting back into allowing people into the space there's still a lot of people that aren't comfortable coming inside and as it gets colder we're our business is it's taking a shot for sure all right can we uh see how how you make it hell yeah we can all right we can do that we'll have to fill our glasses first absolutely <laughs> cheers here we go we're uh talking about the the art and the craft of brewing beer. This is kind of the nuts and bolts of it here. The grain is put into this uh, mill here. The mill crunches the grain such that it's kind of uh, got more surface area. We get more uh, sugars out of that grain. So that's what we want. We want wow. to capture all those sugars. And then once we grind it up, this little pipe frame here has a big auger in it and it augers the grain all the way up to our mash tun, which is where we'll go next. So the mash tun is where we introduce uh, water for the first time, which is the second main ingredient in beer. Uh, the water will instantly hit the grain as it's falling out of the auger, so it's immediately getting wet. And then we've got rakes in here that kind of rake it around, so every inch of it is covered with water. The wort is taken from the mash tun to brew kettle, which is right behind you. And the brew kettle is where uh, our third main ingredient is put in. This is where we hop the beer. Those hops, will they're a bittering agent, so they'll bring down the sweetness of the sugar, uh, not, not allow your, your beer to be so chloe and sticky and, and sugary, uh, but still embrace the, the malt backbone of the, the grain that you put in, depending on, again, the style that you're doing. It'll sit in fermentation for four days to, to, to six weeks, eight weeks, depending on, again, the beer style and so forth. Uh, we'll crash it, which means we'll take the temperature way down. That'll shock the, the yeast. It will stop it from fermenting and stop it from doing whatever it's doing. Mm -hmm. It will, all that yeast will fall down into a cone of the fermentation tank, and then we'll pull that yeast off. Sometimes we save it for the next batch, sometimes we just discard it. 
then once we get to the beer, at this point it's beer because it's been fermented and things like that. It's just not carbonated. You'll take the, the beer and transfer it over to one of the bright tanks, which is these flat tanks. The flat tanks are meant basically to store and to uh, uh, serve the, the beer itself. This is why we do it here on site because at any given point, I've got 10 to 13 beers on tap, but six of them are on tap from a bright tank. Those, it's, it's not touched anything else. So it's, it's not gone through canning, it's not gone through anything else. It's the freshest, cleanest, most genuine beer product that you can have. And so we think that that's very important. That's why craft breweries are, are a thing. So that you can actually not only go and hear this spiel and hear about how we make it and see us making it, but you can also know that the beer is the freshest it's ever gonna be. It's ever gonna be. All right. So whenever we release a beer on Wednesday, it is it is the freshest beer that you can have. Right. You know? Which is kind of cool. Well, Sean, thanks for having us. Really appreciate you kind of giving us the tour and teaching us uh, a little bit about the art that makes the beverage that we like so much. Uh, how can people find out more about you? Uh, www.spencerdevinbrewing.com is our website. And of course, we have Facebook and Instagrams as well, at SD Brewing, I believe it is. You can, you can Google it, you got the Googles. <laughs> um, and anytime that we have the opportunity to speak to anybody about our craft and what we do in, in our little community, we really appreciate it. So thank you. Cheers. It's our pleasure. Cheers.